It is currently 5.09 in the afternoon. I just got my ass up. Let's fucking do this. We're almost done. We're almost done. By the way, I also bought myself a uh, Farron armor because I do like how the Farron armor looks in the game. Whoa, that's love. Jesus. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that, what was the last thing we did? Last thing we did, last time we left off, we killed the dragon. And, uh, you want to come back to this area. You want to come back to this area because, um, you noticed that, uh, we ran through this area pretty much to get to above, above us right there. And then we plunged down on him. But, there are things we missed. There are a bunch of things we missed. There are items in this area. Um, there's actually a lot of items in this area. And you're going to want to come back and collect them all. Because why not? Why not? Oh, man. Yeah. But, yep. Yeah. Ring of steel and protection. But yeah, I just woke up. I want to get this shit done. I want to get it done. Let's see how much time we have. Considering how Arch Dragon Peak is the hardest area of the game, but uh, it's not that long. I don't think it's long anyway. I mean, it's just here and another part. I'm forgetting where items are. And then someone sends me a message. Thank God I have notifications turned off. All right. Whoa. God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Mm. My eyes are burning, everybody. I was burning. I've been up. I was up late. Late, late, late. Late playing with my friends. But, I gotta do it. I gotta keep going. We're almost there. We are almost there. We're so close. It's beating this. And then beating the game. And then the Ashes of Arion Del DLC. I like to do the DLC after I beat the game. Because, in my opinion, I didn't even see this. In my opinion, uh, I think the DLCs happen after you beat the game. Considering there is dialogue after you beat the game. And keep a sharp lookout because some of the items are hard to see. What? Oh, I forgot about that. Ow. Bastard. I forgot, I have tears on. What's wrong with me? Alright. Should be good. I think because uh, my defense is shit. Wait, this is my favorite armor to wear in the game. I like it. It's pretty light. It's around the... I'd like to say it's around the same weight as the Elite Knight armor. But, um... It, yeah, it's around the same weight as the Elite Knight armor. Just, you know, better defense. I like it. 
a lot of people like this armor because this armor first debuted in Dark Souls 2. A lot of people like this armor in Dark Souls 2, but uh, the thing about it was um, it may it looked cool, but the stats were shit. What are you at? There you are. The moon! The moon's the final level. <laughs> That'd be some shit. Throughout all the Kingdom Hearts, the moon is the final level. Oh! Sleepy. But I must. Not sleepy. Groggy. But I must continue. The, for the journey. The journey's almost over. The journey is almost over. We've got this, guys. Come on, come on, follow me. Somehow it's me, but okay. Alright. You didn't drop none. Oh yeah, you did. About to say they usually drop stuff. Where's your buddy at? I see him. There he is. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot, everybody. Like I said, I just woke up. <laughs> my brain is slowly. Like functioning, <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm waking up. Oh, my God! Wow, I'm running out of arrows. Woo. Oh, right in his head. All right, come on. Woo. Come on, fight me. I would love this weapon. If this was an actual weapon, what these guys use, I'd love it. Why did we get something cool like that? Oh! We should have got something cool like that. That would have been awesome. He did it for me. He was like, oh man, you missed your target. Let me help you out. Alright. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything up here. I don't think there's anything up here. Let me see. I can't really tell. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think anyone anything is up here. I think there is something in New Game Plus. But uh, as for now, there's nothing there. Alright. Go, 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 go.
Yeah, kill this thing if you don't if you want him to stop summoning the phantoms to fight you. This is actually a great this is actually the, the best spot in the game to farm souls. Because um oh shit he appeared right here. Because you can just uh chill in this room uh killing these infinite infinitely spawning phantoms as long as that guy is alive. Yeah, and do not underestimate these guys, because these guys have infinite stamina. Oh. These guys have infinite stamina, and they do not drop items, because they're phantoms. So. Oh, man. Uh, 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 uh. All right, hold on. There we go. <laughs> he must be very confused. Like what? Hello! Got my controller! Oh, I need to wake up. My mind, my body, my soul. Alright. Activate this, by the way. There's a shortcut back. Alright. Be careful going down here because it is right here. Can I can I even lock onto him? I can't. Oh my god! I forgot how much damage they do. Jesus! Come, little lizard creature! God damn it! These things are a pest. There we go. Yeah, those rock lizards are very annoying. I mean, you can kill them. They don't drop anything, I think. But I've never gotten any item from killing them before. Oh, man. All right. I mean, you want to come over here, and you want to sit the fuck down. There we go. The Calamity Ring. <laughs> the worst ring in the game, in all the Dark Souls games. That ring's in every Souls game. Why? Nobody knows. Just for gags, pretty much. How the fuck? What is that? Fucking cheater! Oh man, oh man! Money out of Blue Estus. Face me. Jesus. Where'd your buddy go? There he is. Alright.
Oh. The juke's on that guy. Thank you. Alright, where's this guy? Hello? Whoa! Whoa! God damn it. That wide winch ring. That wide range ring. Thank you. I think there's something down there in New Game Plus. I don't remember. Yeah, I think so. I think there is something down there in New Game Plus. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, so far so good. Whoa. Let's go. Across the infamous bridge where people would use force to push other people off. Ouch. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, you're not going outside. <laughs> I wish I had more arrows for what I want to do. But I'm gonna have to actually play the game like a legit player. Oh! Oh! I do like how fast you use divine nowadays. Divine Blessings in Dark Souls uh, 1 and 2, when you drink them, they took forever. Like, your character took forever to drink one. Nice right, down. Hello! I'm sorry, sir. I can't fight you today. I don't have enough arrows. Move that tail. Oh, thank you. Run away, 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 run away. You're supposed to come over here. Oh my god. <laughs> come this way. You're supposed to come. Over here. Come on. You can actually kill this thing, by the way. By like just staying underneath him and dodging his uh, his foot, his feet. Oh. Oh. I kicked him, busted his butt. What? Oh! Ah, for some reason he's not coming up here. Oh well. He's supposed to come up here and like, be above me, but uh... He's... He's being weird. Alright. I just killed this motherfucker quick before his buddy responds. Richard! That was the legit Richard, by the way. He's been here this entire time. Alright. Use these souls.
Let's go level up. And I do want more Earth, just considering what's about to come next. What was I leveling up? I think my equipment load actually. The last I checked anyway. Alright, I think that's all I have. I mean, there are the side quests in the game, but I did say I wouldn't, you know, purposely go out there to do the side quests. If they're, if they're along the way, sure. But, um, this isn't a side quest video. Alright, let's go back. Almost done, guys. We're almost done. We're almost done. Now for this pain in the ass area over here. And yes, you can summon Hawkwood over here. Now for this pain in the butt area. Whoa. How many arrows do I have? Three. Alright, we should be good. As long as we don't bother him. They won't come to us, so. Hello. Don't be scared of this guy. By the time he gets to you, you're gone. And then you climb up. And then he looks up at you like, you bastard. Don't be, don't be scared. Oh, this guy. This guy's a different story. As to why Havel's here... Uh, there is, like, I think two theories. I don't remember what they are. Hello, Havel. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I didn't stop him in time. All right, Havel, give me a minute. While you do that, I'm just gonna grab the items in this area. Oh, that's it. Any day now, Havel, come on. Good fight, Havel. Thank you. You get his shield and his sword. You do get his armor, but not here. I will show you guys where, where you get his armor, so don't worry. You just don't get it here, for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, God. Just 
Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, sure, why not? No! Aw, I teleported to the shrine. I didn't mean to. Well, might as well uh, sit down and get out of here. Let's go back for the most annoying part in this level. Oh man, we can do this, guys. We can do it. We can do it. Now remember. I did say, I did say yesterday that, um, we're pretty much going to stream this area and the final boss pretty much. We're not going to do, even if we have plenty of time, we're not going to do Ashes of Ariandel today. Because I want Ashes of Ariandel to be its own thing. Not, uh, not combined with this. Whoa. You bastard. Stop with the mix-ups. <sighs> All right, here we go. Come on, come to me, please, quick. Quickly. Ah. Oh man. Fuck. Alright, it's one down. Shit. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, chase me. No! Fuck! I saw him in the position too. God damn it. Alright. I think it's just I think it's just those two left. For some reason, his buddy's not coming down. No. What? Uh -huh. Oh, man. I'm trying to remember if there's any more. I noticed the rock lizards on the side. They won't do anything. I think it's just this guy. Yeah. Yeah, this part's annoying. What is this move set? What the heck? Get out of here. Stop that. Oh. Oh. I swear to God. We oh, missed. What? No. What the fuck? Why won't you flinch? That was weird. What is this flinch? This flinch counter restart? What the fuck was that? I think it's just 
think there's a ring on this side, by the way. In uh, right there, in that corner, in the game plus stuff. I think it's half a ring plus one. Be careful, by the way. That's why. Ooh, thank God. As soon as I say be careful, I hear him, and then I get hit by him. There's one over here, too, as well. There he is. Alright, we should be good. Just go all the way up here. I remember one time, me and my friend were helping our friend beat the game. And we got up to here. And there was a guy chameleoned as these dragon statues sitting on the other side. What up, Blue Flare? Actually, um, no, 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 we're not supposed to do that yet. Now that we've cleared the area up, um, this is like the only side quest you can actually do, uh, by just playing the game. There's no, like, special conditions or special things you gotta do. Let's go all the way down here. Gonna go all the way down here. We're gonna summon Hawkwood. No. We're not doing the DLC yet. We I was about I was gonna do it after I beat the game and I was going to beat the game yesterday, but then I stopped and remembered about this area. This is the secret area of the game. That when you when you get this Sitting emo, you go to a certain area and you you use it to sit down. Hawk, we don't die, please. Oh my god. Yeah, Hawkwood could die, by the way, in this scene. Hawkwood! Hawkwood, come on. Hawkwood! Please. Don't be a fool. But yeah, if you... If you don't really pay attention to dialogue, uh, and you notice what he's wearing, Hawkwood used to be an Abyss Watcher. He used to be one of them, and then he quit. Because he thought what the, he thought what they were doing was stupid. He still he still respects them and everything. But uh he quit to to become a dragon. And he pretty much does that. He does that. He gets his own little version of the item we're about to get. So we come up to here, we do the same thing he did. And there's a dead dragon over there, by the way. And we get this, the Twinkling Dragon Torso Stone. He... He got the other piece that we got. He got the Twinkling Dragon Headstone. And then pretty much, he challenges you to a duel. So I'll show that off, and I'll show off um where you get Havel's armor after you beat him. Because uh, a lot of people don't know this, but, um, well, not in this game, but uh, in other Souls games, Havel's armor is the best physical defense armor in the game. It's good in this game, but I think Smo's armor um, is better than it in this game. So let's show off that real quick. There we go. We go to the Old Wolf of Farron Bonfire. Go to the old Wolf of Farron bonfire. I don't know why my elevator's up there. Well, we wait for the elevator pretty much. Alright, here we go. Oh man, I don't know why the armor spawns up here. It is weird, but the armor does spawn up here. I just noticed I don't have my shield out. And there it is, way back there. After you kill Havel, uh, his armor spawns up here. And I, 
Honestly, don't know why. Me, yeah, Havel's armor. I honestly don't know why his Havel spawns up here. But let's go back to Firelink, because that's the next thing we gotta do. And then we're gonna go over here. Hawkwood is no longer, you know, in sight. Hawkwood is awaiting our challenge. Smo's armor. Morn's armor. Morn's armor is what I usually used to wear. Let's talk to little old, little blacksmith over here. I was hoping to see that quest for an He's changed a great deal since he left this place. Raven in the face. Hawkwood sword grass. Pretty much what he what we just got is a letter a message from hawkwood pretty much um challenging us to go to the farren keep and why not let's challenge the homie oh man but yeah hawkwood's side quest is like the easiest one in the game da, 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 da. Oh. oh my god These yawns He's right behind us by the way <laughs> Thankfully Hawkwood isn't a an asshole Do I have the yes I do Hawkwood, please. Hey, still, you bastard. This used to be that used to be my favorite weapon to fight other players with. The Abyss Watcher's uh, great sword. Jesus. Okay, hold on. I might have to actually <laughs> fight him as if he was an actual player. Oh. Whoa! I just got a not notification on my screen, and I'm I'm sorry about that, everyone. I turned off notifications. I don't know why that appeared. Alright, Hawkwood, let's dance. Why? I don't remember him being this strong. That means my character must be weak as shit, if that's the case. God damn it. Fuck would stop it. Oh my god, I walked into that. What the fuck? How did I run into that? Thank you, Hawkwood. Very kind. Jesus. Oops. Oh, 
No. How many does he have? God, my character must be super weak if uh, if I'm taking this long to kill Hawkwood. Aw. Whoa. Yep, there we go. Do I recommend any anime? Um... Honestly, whatever. I mean, Dragon Ball Z is my first one. Uh, Maggie, The Magician's Labyrinth, and The Kingdom of Magic. Um, I do like certain Magic Windex. No, he beat me in the duel. Well, pretty much it tells you that... Um, It tells you that uh, after you be after he beats you, he takes the item that you got, and to pretty much get that item back and his item back, you have to beat him. Well, we can't beat him. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let me see. There's like so many animes. I can't honestly recommend a lot because I've seen so many. I'm using so much healing. I am. I am using so much healing. Talkwood. I feel so sad now. My character's weak as fuck. If I can't. If I can't beat a Hawkwood. All right, but we're gonna go to online mode <laughs> because I. I will admit my character is weak as shit, and uh, I would like people. I would like people to back me up. And the final boss and the secret boss. Dude, have you seen Konosu? But my friend actually talked about that to me yesterday. A good friend of mine, uh, I was asking him, uh, like, what's new and stuff, what, what's some new, new animes. And uh, he told me about it. And I do, like, I do like fantasy animes. And I've also heard it from another friend. Oh, man. But the animes I've been watching is Dragon Ball Super, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, this one anime that I, I can't pronounce the name of it at all. A new episode just came out today. Um, the new Blue Exorcist, which I'm pretty sure is almost finished. Uh, trying to remember what else. And this uh, other anime that I ha I stopped watching, but I should I need to get back to it because it is pretty long. And that's it, honestly. Alright, let's go beat. Let's go fight the secret boss. I'm surprised there's no summon signs here. Oh, uh, Gate Jitai. I can't pronounce the rest of it. I can only say the first two words: Gate Jitai. Uh, it's a short, it's a short anime, but it's really fucking good, in my opinion. It was really great. I loved it. Ah oh, man. I haven't really been. Yeah, I can't wait either. I haven't really been watching a lot of animes because a lot of animes nowadays are kind of whack, honestly. Like a lot of the virtual reality animes, they do they all do the same exact thing as the Dot Hack series. Cause Dot Hack was the very first virtual reality anime, and every other anime after that does the exact same thing so that i don't watch stuff like that dot hack was like the main one for me 
But um, yeah, I haven't been, I haven't, I don't really watch a lot of the new animes nowadays. Cody, is that my friend? <laughs> I don't really watch a lot of the new animes nowadays because um, honestly, a lot of them are lame. A lot of them are pretty lame. I'm surprised there's no summon signs up here. Holy crap! But it's probably because of my level. Hello. Uh... Oh, there, there we go. Now there's more summon signs. Unable to summon. Alright, no more signs. Let's go. King of the Storm. You can't parry this boss, by the way. Well, not parry. Uh, I forgot how you do it. I saw... Um, I saw Ouroboro do it once. I don't know what he did. God, the damage I do is so pathetic. I need to, I need to be on my other character. <laughs> Whoa. My game lagged for a bit. But this guy was considered the hardest boss in the game. Uh, I was First time playing the game, I was able to take him out no problem. I was able to take out this boss no problem first time playing the game. Damn, our one, our one buddy got fucked up. Oh my god. The guy, the one guy's doing more damage than me. That's good. All right. Yeah, he's doing way more damage to me. He's a strength build. Yeah, everybody knows what. Well, not everybody. I shouldn't say that. Yeah, a lot of people do. A lot of people know what that code is. Ah oh, man, King of the Storm. This is the son that um, left his father's side to pursue his own thing. Pretty much the he's the only human um, to become best friends with the dragons pretty much and become the dragon's king don't do it oh uh, okay oh uh, he farted at me bastard where's my teammate what the bullshit has never been so real oh Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I don't know if you can fall off the stage by the way, so do be careful fighting him. Fuck. Oh my god. I'm doing I'm playing so bad. Jesus Christ. I'm playing so bad.
I'm playing so bad. Well, that 360 spin. Oh. I rolled right into that. Oh my god. I forgot about that. Okay, I thought he was aiming at me. Get him, teammate! Kick his ass! <laughs> Fuck you! I should let teammate do it. He's got he does more damage than me. Oh. No, homie. No! Teammate! Teammate, no! Cody! Oh! My friend! <laughs> Oh man. Hmm. This is weird. Okay, there we go. Much better now. Yeah, for some reason, uh. Okay, there we go. Much God damn it. Yeah, for some reason the Twitch website froze for a second. It's weird. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I um I read your chat on the like Twitch site. I don't actually uh use like PS4 chat or anything. No, homie. <laughs> no. Oh well. The power. <laughs> But that was the secret boss. If you don't have the DLC, uh, that's the secret boss pretty much. If you don't have the DLC, he is considered the hardest boss in the game. Which I don't, I don't think so anymore. Considering uh, Frida in the DLC. Look at those blood stains up there. But that's it. That's all there is in this area. Ornstein's armor. That is about it. Let let us get out of here. Let's go level up if we want to. Let's go beat the video game. Oh man. Probably tomorrow. Because I I want the DLC to be its uh its own stream and its own video on my YouTube channel. I don't want it to be like mixed with the main story. Even though the DLC, you know, continues off. Alright. Let's go beat us the game. Oh, I almost teleported to the wrong place. My cat just walked into my door. I mean, walked into my room and opened my door. How dare she? Now she's calmly walking over. All right. There's always, always someone you can summon here, by the way. Always. Unless your level is too high, because there is a level thing between uh, players. 
Unless you and that player have the same password on. You can always summon someone up here. Hey, it's Darius again. <laughs> it's the person that got rocked. Oh, man. It's the butt. It's the homie that got rocked fighting the secret boss with us. Hi, Darius. Remember me? Bob. We've got the homie Bob. Look at your face. You got rocked by the secret boss. Let's gangbang the boss. <laughs> Bob, I mean Ethan. Hello. Is he here? Hey! Hey! Fucker! Guys, I think we got an AFK. Fuck it, yeah. Alright, guys. I got it. Alright, let's go. I do like this final boss. Oh. Oh, he's back. I call this final boss Dark Souls 1 because it does do a lot of the, it does do a lot of the uh, Dark Souls 1 moves. He missed what? I think my favorite thing, what the fuck? I think my favorite thing with this boss is, um, I don't know what causes it, but, uh, he can change his sword. Like, right now he's got a long sword. Uh, he can change it to a rapier and I think a scythe. And I think, uh, a curved sword like I have. Beat his ass, beat his ass. Yeah, there we go. He got the curved sword. All right, we got to back up. That somehow hits me, but okay. Now nah, he won't change anymore. He'll he'll pretty much do the the Lord Gwyn uh, fighting style. I do like the music though. For a boss like this. You can't parry him, by the way. Oh shit. Okay, I thought he was gonna do Sacred Flame. Darius knows. Oh, she pulled out the shield. I forgot. I should have pulled out the shield too. It's too late though. I've never actually done that. I've never actually pulled. I've always pulled out the mimic helmet. Never the shield alongside the mimic helmet. I feel retarded. But 
Let's go end the game. I've gotten the first ending and I've gotten the second ending. Let's get the third ending. Man, you can only get this ending when you give her the eyes, by the way. The firekeeper eyes. There's only four endings. Dark Souls 1 has two endings. Dark Souls 2 had two. I guess you could say this is the true ending and then the DLC comes out because <laughs> my tears of denial because um we do have an option to kill her by the way like instead of waiting for the screen to go to fade to black week we do have an That's option true. to kill her and if you're if you do That's kill her uh, your guy That's stomps true. on her head and takes the fire for himself Oh man, Dark Souls three. Yeah, pretty much. Um, the real okay. There's oh, there's a good and there's a light ending and a dark ending, uh, and and by that I don't mean I don't mean good and evil. Every Dark Souls game has the same first ending. You play as your character. You Dark Souls one. The gods make up some legend saying that there's going to be a legendary hollow to link the fire and save the world pretty much there's no legend like that there's no such thing as that legend the only reason they made that legend was because their fire is fading like the first flame's fading and when the first flame fades the entire world's going to be covered in darkness but um not darkness it's just like there won't be any light there'll still be moonlight and there'll still be like little little flames you can light up and shit. It's just there, there's, there's gonna be no daytime pretty much. Um, and the gods they don't they don't want that. They don't want that at all. So they made up this legend. Uh, they made up this legend to refuel the flame and at the same time, uh, get rid of the hollows because. Because in Dark Souls One, getting rid of link, making hollows, linking, making hollows link up with the first, with the first flame, was honestly the only legit way to get rid of a hollow. Considering hollows can come back to life because of the, uh, the undead curse. Then in Dark Souls Two, in like a different country or a different uh, continent, something like that, um, it's the same thing. Uh, some legendary hollow. Is supposed to come link the fire uh, you can go and link the fire or you can walk out of the room and uh, walk towards like you know back to the back to civilization as darkness fades and then if you have all the DLCs and if you beat all the DLCs first then go to the final level of the game uh, you get a third ending where you and a guy uh, named, um, name, uh, actually, I forgot his name. But the guy was the king, the guy was the brother of the king, uh, the king of the country, pretty much. Where you and the guy uh, work together to help humanity in the Dark Age. And then in Dark Souls 3, 
you know, there's the same thing. Do anything instead of using hollows to light the flame, we're using undead ash, which is pretty much um, they're resurrecting hollows that linked with the first flame. Because uh, the hollow population isn't like much of an issue anymore. So, because a lot of the hollows are well behaved now, uh, there's actually a legit way of, of taking them out. Uh, a lot of the hollows want to live in the ring city, and um, a lot of the hollows went up to the Arch Dragon Peak to you know become dragons and live forever pretty much without like nobody bothered them. Without nobody bothering them, because Arch, Arch Dragon Peak is the only place in the world that's like not affected by anything that's going down. And so, you know, same thing in Dark Souls 3. You sacrifice yourself to light to keep the flame fueled, and then the second ending, you become the Lord of Hollows. You you go through like this whole damn side quest, and then at the very end, you fuse with the flame instead of sacrificing yourself. You fuse with the flame. And you become the Lord of Hollows. You have like an army behind you. You have a uh, Henri, the two, the Firekeeper, another Firekeeper, and all that stuff like bowing down to you. Then this is the third ending right here, where you give the Firekeeper her eyes because her previous, the previous Firekeeper, saw the real truth that the flame is f forever fading. That there's no way to restore the flame. And so the Firekeeper said, "Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's." <laughs> Sorry about that, my damn cat. And so pretty much the firekeeper said, fuck it. Let's take, I'm, fuck it, I'm going to take the flame. I'm going to fuse with the flame. And, uh, you know, me and you, we're going to help humanity in the dark age. Because I know one day, uh, little, little flickering flames will appear. Which is true, because... In Dark Souls 1, um, when Flame first appeared, Lord Gwyn got a flame, uh, Lord Nito got a flame, the Witches of Isolith got a flame, and um, I think the dragons got a flame, I don't remember. Uh, and then humanity got a, plane, got a flame, uh, or what they call the Furtive Pygmy, which is basically... Um, the first ever human, pretty much. The first ever human got a piece of the flame as well. But his was so tiny that uh, nobody worried about it. Nobody thought, like, um, nobody paid attention to the furtive pygmy. So nobody knows what, nobody knows what happened to the furtive pygmy. Because uh, nobody knows, like, where he is or what he's doing. But the furtive pygmy is just a regular hollow that happened to, like, find it. Um, and then there's the fourth ending where it's you pretty much have to get the third ending and in that one moment where the screen slowly fades to black you can actually kill your firekeeper uh, and then a cutscene happens where your character where she falls onto the ground your character stomps on her face and takes the flame for himself and he, he, he pretty much becomes absorbed with greed and then that's it there's no trophy for getting that ending by the way um and you know, there's the Ashes of Ariandel DLC that continues like after you beat the game. But as soon as you get to the church, you can access it anytime. And now there's the Ring City DLC that is supposed to, Miyazaki said this himself, the Ring City DLC is supposed to end the entire series. It's supposed to tie up loose ends. It's supposed to, um, it's supposed to show us the true bad guy, like the one behind all of this from Dark Souls 1 all the way to 3. And, um, Pretty much we're on a hunt where we're racing uh, this one guy on a hunt to the end of the world pretty much. And by end of the world they mean they mean like the center of the world. Like in the final area we were just at where everything's like distorted. That's where the DLC starts. And the deeper we go down the more this, the more distorted the world is. And then when we finally go through the distortions, there's a huge city. There's a huge, beautiful city at the very bottom. And uh, apparently the dark soul of man is at the very bottom of that city. I think, like I said before, uh, I've been saying this a lot. I think uh, Velka is the main bad guy. And uh, reasons why is because um, Vadi Vidya pointed this out. Uh, she's mentioned in every game. She's referenced in every game. 
There's a statue of her. There's something of her in every game. And she's uh, affiliated with the crow people. So every time you saw crow people, creep people that, you know, crow were look look crow like, had crow wings, stuff like that. Um, it's because they were affiliated with Velka. Or the main bad guy could probably be the furtive pygmy. Because nobody knows what he's doing. Nobody knows where the furtive pygmy is. The furtive pygmy is just a regular, regular human being. It's not a god or anything. It's just a regular, regular character like us. Nobody knows what he's doing. Nobody knows if he's a bad guy or a good guy. Who knows? All I know is, all I know is that we honestly can't do nothing about it. We honestly can't do nothing about uh, the real, real ending until the DLC comes out. So before before I end the stream, let's go to where we gotta go next. I wonder what she says to me after I got this ending. Oh, she doesn't. She says the same exact things like always. Does anyone else have like different dialogue after what I did? Okay. No. Does anything happen after I, after I pick that ending? Let me out! Let me out! I don't know why this part loads. All oh, the other parts in the game don't do this. This is like the only part that loads. Let me out! Damn it! Free me! Huh? Weird. All right, let's go to the DLC and then we're gonna stop right there and when we come back tomorrow uh, same time we will begin the DLC so let's go over here in case you don't know how to start the DLC we go over here the cleansing chapel like I said when you get to as soon as you get to the cleansing chapel uh, that's when you can start the DLC you can start the DLC anytime I prefer to do it after I beat the game Considering uh, the DLCs do pretty much take place after you beat the game. <sighs> Look at that position. I can't help it, guys. Oh. No. By the way, um, <laughs> every Souls veteran does it. Everybody that plays Souls games does this. Before people go into New Game Plus, they kill every NPC they can and they take their shit. This guy, I don't think he drops anything. But I do, I do think if you kill him, like if I was to kill him right now, I couldn't go into the DLC until New Game Plus. Just a moment, then. The painting of Aaron Bear. Well, not in scrap of it, that is. Oh. Take it. Touch it.
actually work to me. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Here we are, and there he is. Well, a random anyway. Mm. That fucking face. Huh? 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 Have you just How very unusual. Just those red things behind him, by the way, those are eggs. Those are eggs from flies, and you'll see why later. Like way the fuck later. Okay, yeah, that's it. He stays there. He's he's no important. He's not important at all. He just he stays there the entire time. But welcome to the Ashes of Ariandel DLC, the Painted World. And why it's painted, I will get to that later. But until then, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, tomorrow we will come back and we will play the DLC. So I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.